what's up virgo legacies welcome back to my channel for those that are new welcome for those that are returning thank you always a pleasure so i decided to switch it up switch it up switch up the environment come to the park enjoy the elements right mother earth elements of air earth water we have the sun for fire it's starting to the sunset's starting to to set This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please keep in mind that not everything I say may resonate. And what and that which does not resonate may not be for you, but for somebody else. Okay? So if the card doesn't apply, let it fly. Page of Inspiration. You may have some creative block as of recently, Virgo, right? You're trying to almost decide what direction you should head. But it's all within you. You may have two black cats, by the way. Or you may have watched and joined, like, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I'm here in Salem, right? There's this cloud of inspiration that floats, be like, above you at all times. It's just a matter of, like, popping the bubble so that the energy can drop to your aura. All right, page of voices. You've been contemplating whether to communicate to someone in your life or maybe your environment. You know, this could be work, this could be school, this could be your social group. You have your eye on them, Virgo. You're attracted to them. You're dancing around the idea of maybe communicating with them on a more personal level. You see them as someone very intelligent, very clear-minded, very spiritual and centered. Yeah, queen of materials. You view this person as like the total package, really. They got a good sense of fashion. Right, they have black hair, brown eyes. Good sense of fashion and style, right? I'm getting their Hispanic. Hispanic or of Latin culture. They could be Spanish, from Spain. Mexican, South American, Brazilian, Portuguese, right? Some type of South American culture. Venezuelan. Cuban. Muse of emotions. Emotionally, I feel like Virgo, you know that you like them. But you're almost playing it off like... I'm not going to talk to you, you know? I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of you knowing that I like you. That's what I'm hearing. What's your fear for not connecting, Virgo? Let's find out. So we have the six of materials. You're shy. You appear to be like a pretty outgoing person. I feel like with your friends, but I feel like when it comes to someone you may be interested or have a crush on, it's difficult. It's difficult for you to uh, like lower your wall, right? You built this wall of security around you, this like fortress that you find difficult to lower at times or all the time right this is also you feeling as if you'll lose your independence your freedom it's almost like you're enjoying being young and single for those of you that are older please take it as it resonates but this could also be an opportunity for you to engage more into creative things like dancing um, 
painting, any passions or desires you've had that maybe you've neglected, this is like an opportunity for you to relive those moments or give birth to those things that, you know, you let go are no longer pursued. The magician here is you, Virgo, have all the resources at your disposal to, you know, make the effort to communicate. But yet, it's almost like financially, you feel like you're not at the place you would like to be to be able to, you know, hang out or invest into this relationship. I feel like you're overthinking a lot of things. Yeah, you're very emotional. Um, you, it's like you're in the unknown, right? You don't know how to feel, what to think, how they may feel about you. You don't know if they feel the same about you. There's these lines of of not boundaries, but there's these like lines of synchronicities that have brought you two together, I'm hearing. But yet you're still resistant or almost at a distance. You view them like competitive as well. But I don't think anybody's competing against you, Virgo. You know? This person is confident. They only compete with themselves. They're only they're the better version of who they were yesterday, type of thing. Three of materials. So you have two like good friends who like you probably communicate the most frequently with. You guys are of all different ethnicities, by the way. Right? Someone might be light skinned, someone might be medium skinned, and the other might be darker skinned. I'm getting one of them has curly hair, one of them has straight hair, one of them has dyed hair. So the synchronicities I'm talking about are people are meant to weave in and out of your life, Virgo. But repeats will only happen so many times. So if, so if like the divine is bringing two people together or synchronizing them like in the same place at the same time and no action is taken, and that may only prove to repeat itself maybe one or more or two more times. But for the most part, like, if no initiative is taken, then your past will start deviating the other way. Right? It's like, you can't, like, if the resistance continues, then you'll just push them away even more. All right, let's find out how you feel in regard to this. <laughs> All right, so we have, I have too much to lose and I want to start over. Yeah, I have a feeling that Like you, you might, they might have communicated to you, Virgo. I think I said this in your last reading as well. But there's this theme of like maybe someone reaching out to you, you maybe ignoring or not responding. And then like the more that you've had interaction with them, you've understood like you've like had an epiphany about, I don't know. This is unclear to me. Let's uh, get more messages. I feel so happy with you and I don't want to let you go. What? I feel like this is how you may feel, but this is not how you act. Let's see how they feel or act.
So they wish, like, if, like, you guys could go back as well. Both of you, like, want to start over, essentially. You let me down. What, Virgo, you let them down? Rejected. I don't know why this happened. Yeah, I think they question like why you didn't respond or something like that. But I don't think they're actually putting like too much thought into it. I think it's more of like, okay, like I reached out, you know, you wanna be friends, cool, you don't, whatever. Or maybe they were interested in you. Who knows? Let's clarify that. Let's get one more card. Damn, Virgo, you watch their social media? Yeah, so like, secretively, you're like a secret admirer, Virgo. You secretly like them. You're secretly, secretly attracted to them. But yet, you're fearful of making a move. So it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Unrequited love. What I'm channeling is that you, both of you never even gave each other the opportunity. Like there was never like an even a love to begin with, right? This is more of like an acquaintance, someone you might've been interested in from afar, but things didn't, you know, become a more let's see how you feel though because i feel yeah you know this there's, there's more to it yeah the divine is saying this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so this is someone you probably interact with like every so often even if it's like virtual like you may have meetings together you may have class together you may have like work meetings together there's definitely some type of interaction between you and them. They feel healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So they have some family drama. Not drama, but family... family issues let's just call it that but they're definitely healed or already healed i'm hearing it's more something that maybe holds them back to try to reach out or to pursue further right but this person that you're dealing with virgo this is someone that's very like boss like you know they're very attractive very charismatic I'm getting like masculine energy. I'm gonna pull a card from them from the Muse Tarot. Yeah, the Hanged Muse. They're, they're very woke, right? They bring the sunshine wherever they go. They're literally floating in the spiritual world like at all times. They live in a light body. I feel like they recently may have taken a leap of faith and like maybe sent you a message. But this is someone that's going to be huge in the corporate world, right? They have they're going they have like this whole energy of mountains, like they're moving mountains, they're zigzag, they're they're zigzags and interconnected with lots of different people, lots of networks internationally. Their third eye is, like, activated at all times. I feel like they can read and pick up off your energy pretty easily. And you may not just be aware of this. Seven of emotions. I feel like they're uh, an emotional person as well. You could be dealing with the Pisces a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius. 
a Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Leo. So we have the Chariot, the Muse of Materials, and the Page of Materials. I feel like your class or your job or some type of work project is going to maybe give the opportunity to connect more on a more personal level, right? If it's friendship or a relationship, it's going to happen here soon, probably quicker than you expect. All right, so two of voices. This calls for communication, either you or them, or maybe they already communicated, or maybe you already communicated and there wasn't a response. But there's definitely this gray area of thinking and wanting something, but acting in the opposite way. Yeah, there's so much abundance. I mean, this relationship is meant to spin on the path it's meant to be on. I feel like this is the last time there'll be like this synchronicity between you and them is what I'm hearing. All right, give me one last card. One last card. Yeah. The High Priestess. They're the High Priestess of Virgo. Someone very intuitive. They could be psychic. They could like read your energy very easily they're probably clairsentient clairaudient clairvoyant claircognizant they're probably a mixture of all the clairs you don't even have to like speak your feelings or mind because they can already feel the way you feel you may see this as a disadvantage right because you are portraying like okay i like you but I don't want you to know I like you, so I'm going to pretend that I don't like you, but in the reality, I really do. This is like a mirrored reflection of your energy of what you're doing, right? It's like you tell you look yourself in the mirror and like you tell yourself one thing, but then the mirror reflects the exact opposite, right? It reflects the reverse image or the reverse feeling of how you're feeling inside. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Libra at the bottom of the deck yeah you could be dealing with the libra and the high priestess the high priestess and the libra and the hanged man together with the world cosmos this is definitely libra energy someone that's balanced someone that's like abundant resilient right yeah all right i'm gonna pull one last card to end your reading virgo that or no damn so we have <laughs> engagement and honeymoon your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with honeymoon so we got a honeymoon and an engagement <clears throat> this could be someone you like in the end like <clears throat> ironically become engaged with or like travel to Italy together say what <clears throat> Italy Venice Venice Italy Paris France England, Germany, Spain. <clears throat> All right, now I'll end your reading with a card from the Moonology deck. Oh. So we have a fiery climax approaches Virgo full moon in aries okay so things are about to pop off things are about to become what they should have became months ago i'm hearing 
If this message resonated, Virgo, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like before you exit. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. And most importantly, Virgo, do not forget to live out your best look.